with dripping coming in from this doorway and it's just drip 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 well that's not good because this is the solarium this is where they just finished our roof you know they were very responsive they we're actually out here today re-inspecting their work to see if it's something they did with the counter flashing or what's going on so we have them here today they're out here oh you can't see so they're out there with with a hose spraying everything down trying to see if they can find the leak we are working on the uh, federal style mansion today this is our house so anytime I'm working inside it is likely in our house that house uh, the federal style mansion and we are continuing our progress on the garage. We have contractors coming in today and they're gonna help us out. Oh no! The garage in here, ooh, it smells like gas. Uh, I moved out the lawnmower and stuff so, so that they'd have room to work, but I still need to take down like all this stuff. Hopefully I can get that done, all this stuff. Hopefully I can get that done before they get here. All right, guys, we got the guy here. He's gonna, this stuff looks really thick. Oh, they're just stuck together. They are half inch, so. Morning. What's up, man? How you doing? How do you feel about being recorded? <laughs> All right, let's see what they got done. Bye-bam. So, everything's, Got OSB on it. <laughs> oh, no, they were here for the majority of the day yesterday doing this. And uh, next up, they'll do sheetrock. So this will get half inch on it here. And then this wall, because it's attached to the house, will have uh, 5 8 inch fire rated sheetrock. And then on the ceiling, we'll have 5 8 oh, Good morning, you guys. So we have some contractors back here and they are working on finishing up the last little bit of this side of the house. So, how's it going? All right, how are you? Doing good. So they rebuilt some of the uh, corbels up there. So you can see right up there we have a missing corbel. And then there's a couple up here in this corner. And they actually took one of these a while back and replicated it. And now they're getting ready to put them back up. We have a leak. See? Drip. Drip. It's like a stream coming down this uh, casing. Oh. So, talking to them, we think that it is not the roof, but the window upstairs. And that kind of makes sense because the window is like, so it's brick. And then they use a piece of trim around the outside of that window. And all that caulking has been in kind of rough shape for the last couple of years. So if it's driving behind that caulking and that trim, it would have an open path then to go ahead and drip down the window. So I guess that's one more thing that needs to be added to our list of things to take care of. You guys ever have like one of those times where someone says they're gonna come and then they don't come and then you reschedule and they say they're gonna come and then they don't come. And 
you know, it just ends up like they never really show up, or when they do, they're not really there for the amount of time that they are. Well, brings me to this. And this truck, which has a ton of sheetrock in it. I, I've never put this much sheetrock in a vehicle before. And she's squatting pretty good. <laughs> oh, but she's not bottomed out. So we are putting sheetrock up on the walls. Bethany and I are really excited to do it. And we are gonna get this garage in tip top shape. We're both getting ready. Hey! Come on down here, I have something to show you. Honey. <laughs> I might need your help. Is it a body part? No, it's not a body part. <laughs> All right, so in an effort to save on many, many trips to the storage unit, we shoved a bunch of stuff down into the basement. I have nothing. And it just so happens that I need to get that drywall jack back there. did it all right so this thing is a drywall jack I'll show you what it does in a minute but why are you making me carry the heaviest part oh you don't have to do that just leave it there I'll get it um I, I left it there because I have to put this up first so if you guys are doing any like Hold the door. I got I got you girl this is a drywall jack and it takes the sheetrock and you put it on here and then you'll raise it up to the ceiling. It works really well on really tall ceilings and allowing you to put full sheets up on the ceiling. It also works well to hang sheets of sheetrock up on the wall if you're doing the walls. Um, but what I was saying is the first few times we used this, we rented one and they're like 200 bucks to rent. Uh, but with this house, we have like so many projects going on that I just looked into buying one. And guess what? They're like 250 bucks to buy one. So if you use one, one time, you've just paid off your investment. But if you don't have somewhere to store one and you only have like one project going on, then I would probably rent one. I'd definitely get one if you're doing anything on the ceiling because my days of like heaving it up by myself and even the use with like some, some T boards or supports underneath, those days are long gone. Uh, and I only use this on the ceilings, so yeah. We're gonna need more. Cheers. I want that one. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sheetrock in style, ching. And they're plastic. That's stupid. Take it off. <laughs> what is this garbage? I think you're just supposed to tie it in the back. Will you open this? Never the way I did it when I was a kid. The majority of the ceiling is done. So I went ahead and took down the garage door opener. Then Bethany's been helping me out. So I've been throwing up a couple sheets on the wall and then she's hammering these sheets in on the wall while I'm working on the ceiling because you know, <sighs> I'm tall and uh, she's not. Next time on Reality Daydream. I'm a party and I have 24 hours to get this bathroom functional. You're like, what was I thinking? It is started. Will we get it done in time? Hit that subscribe button to find out.